Hey everybody, how are you today? How are you today? This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades and also your intentional happiness enthusiast. Woohoo! How are you today? How are you today? What have you done today for your soul? What have you done today for your mind? What have you done today for your body? And what have you done today for your business? And what have you done today for you? What have you done today for somebody else? <laughs> yes, that's a good question. What have you done today for somebody else? So um, I just want to just take a moment of silence. My wonderful friend, Helen Brahms, her husband passed away today and my friend Peggy and I went to visit her in San Diego and just give her a hug. I gave her a foot massage and hand massage and then a neck massage using all her aromatherapy doTERRA oils. And so I love you, Helen. And, um, okay. So, and, and that being said, Please go and tell people that you love that you're thinking of them because you never know what's happening in life. So, um, today is 98 days till the end of the year. 98 days till the end of the year. And we started at 100 on a countdown till the end of the year. Each day we are going to do a acupressure point and do some tapping for fear and for other things like today will be abundance um, sometimes it'll be sales sometimes it'll be procrastination we're just going to um, tap on different things because um, one of my mentors Greg Reed had posted um, something a while ago a couple weeks ago 21 day it takes 21 days to develop a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle what are your daily routines for success so i thought that we would count down um, from 100 to the end of the year and see how we can change our lives change our attitudes change our pocketbooks change our business change our um how we think about ourselves, our confidence, all kinds of stuff. So we are at day 98. So the acupressure point that we are going to learn today is right here. This is your collarbone and you have these indentations on both sides. You can just hold those points. They say that you want to put a firm, light, touching lightly isn't as great for these points. You really want to dig in and really rub and stimulate these points. Um, these are, I learned these points when I was in my oncology massage class. Um, for people with cancer, these are great points that you want to just rub gently and hold. They're great calming points. Um, they're points for, um, depression I mean not depression uh, you're they're in the depression of the clavicle okay so the points are good for fatigue asthma neck pain immunity cough face pain vomiting these points are used for circulation to stop cough and to balance one's energy these are actually tapping points kidney 27 these are amazing points you can just hold and rub and breathe but also in uh, well in tapping it's one of the tapping points but in energy work it's one of the points that you want to stimulate for energy work so our day our acu therapy point for today day 98 is kidney 27 and this point is good like i said for fatigue asthma neck pain immunity cough face pain, used for circulation, energy balancing, and to stop cough. So these are great points. Um, if you're feeling fatigued, you can just thump and tap here. If you're feeling stressed, you can just hold here um, and do some pressing points. Find the depression in the clavicle right here on both sides. 
These are great tools to have in your toolbox. Acupressure and tapping are great tools to have in your health toolbox so that when you are having pain or an emotional stress or anxiety, you can figure these out because all of these things are good for multiple things. So great. Um, what have you done today for your soul, mind, body, business? What have you done today for you? Have you done some uh, tapping? Have you gone for a walk? Have you gotten some exercise? Have you uh, made some healthy choices on your diet today? Have you drank plenty of water? Uh, do you have your healing stones <laughs> close to you? I met one of my kindred sisters. She, Some lady had posted like, does anybody else have stones that fall out of their boobs? And so I was like, hey, that sounds like me. I always have healing stones. Um, places. <laughs> so, um, so that was our acupressure point, shiatsu acupressure, self acupressure point. You can use different tools to help with the points. Um, the, this tool has different points on it. This is a, another tool, acupressure tool that has a tip there that you can use for the different points. And then there's always this great little tool here that is really good. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Take some deep breaths today. This is a great tool. Everyone should have one of these. So, all right, let's get to tapping. Today we are going to tap on points for um, fear and then also points for abundance. Um, the reason that I want to do this countdown is because I want to see how we can change our mindset, how we can change what's going on in our, our businesses with changing our thinking and our mindset. Um, just briefly, in 2014, I went to a seminar, a couple seminars actually, I got a sneeze. <coughs> And then in 2015, in January, I took a tapping uh, workshop course, and I thought to myself, you know, you can go to all the seminars you want about, um, you know, business and all this great stuff, making money, whatever, but until you just change what's going on up in here, ain't nothing going to change. You'll just get in this vicious cycle because for some reason, you know, I posted on my um, Facebook page today, this video that is so fitting for what we are doing. Um, it's a video I urge you to watch. Um, let's see. Okay, The Secret to Self-Motivation. I posted this on my timeline, and it's a woman talking about how our subconscious works and how sometimes, you know, we do have these subconscious beliefs that self-sabotage us throughout our journey, and so we really have to work on those things because otherwise... We procrastinate and procrastinate and we don't do things because we're afraid. And there's a lot of things that, um, I mean, my, I don't know what y'all think about me, but, um, you know, my life is definitely not perfect. I am a work in progress. I am constantly working on myself, which is the hashtag invest, learn, teach, and grow. And that's why I'm excited to share with you all because I'm constantly working out on myself because I am a work in progress. Trust me, nobody's perfect and we're, you know, thank God we have tools that help us when we have, when we need help. All right, so let's get to tapping. We're going to tap on fear because whether we admit it or not, sometimes we do get afraid and to do things that are out of our comfort zone is so important. Let me just say this about tapping. What tapping does is um, it cha tap tapping affirmations rewires your brain 
So your brain does not know um, what is real and what is make believe. So that's why tapping on positive affirmations is so powerful because our brains do not know that it's not true. So that's also why visualization is such an amazing um, tool as well because you know, if, can you imagine if athletes didn't? I mean, that's why people are top athletes and top performers because they do certain things. Don't you imagine that Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant or Serena Williams or any of these athletes who are top people, I know that they have done many, many, many guided meditations and visualizations um, and work on themselves. Um, all right, let's get started. So, all right, we are going to follow along. We are going to do two rounds of tapping for fear, and then we are going to do one round of tapping for abundance. Um, I tap every morning at 7.30 a.m. with Revel Rivetti. Uh, she does a uh, tapping, we call it tapping daily tapping daily for success with Revel Rivetti. So we tap on abundance, um, uh, well-being, and confidence. So today I am, uh, I pick doing things, working towards business and sales and getting us over that hump so that we can um, get out of the vicious cycle and, um, and expand and grow. <laughs> All right, so let's go, sorry for the long-windedness. My fear-based thoughts, this is an eyebrow point, my fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. My fear-based thoughts are now gone for good. Side of the eye. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. And you really wanna breathe it in. It's okay to talk about things that scare me. I am free of the fear of people. I am free of the fear of people. Under the nose. I am free of the fear of failure. I am free of the fear of failure. Chin. It's okay to fear facing my fears. It's okay to fear facing my fears. Collarbone. Every day I decrease my fears. Every day I decrease my fears. I refuse to let my courage be smothered by my fear. I refuse to let my courage be smothered by my fear. Last one on the first round. I am now conquering my fears one at a time. Breathe it in and listen to those small voices if they're saying, yeah, right, sister, sure you are. <laughs> I am now conquering my fears one at a time. All right, so second round, tapping on fear, eyebrow point. I now choose love and peace instead of fear. <sighs> I now choose love and peace instead of fear. Side of the eye. I deserve to be free from failure. Breathe it in. I deserve to be free from failure. All right, under the eye, I am fearless. I am fearless. Under the nose, I happily relinquish all fear-based thoughts. I happily relinquish all fear-based thoughts. Fear takes a backseat to the peace I enjoy. Peace takes a back seat. I mean, fear takes a back seat to the peace I enjoy. Fear takes a back seat to the peace I enjoy. I am fearless today and always. Breathe it in. I am free, fearless today and always. And the last one on fear. And Revel gave us this one. Even though I'm sometimes afraid, I choose to trust all is well and all will be well. Breathe it in. Even though I'm sometimes afraid, I choose to trust all will be well. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Ah. All right. Now we are going to do one round on abundance, and then I'm out of here to have dinner with my family and my new grandbaby girl, little Luna Kaya Kanan. Woo woo. <laughs> woo woo. All right. Abundance. Abundance. We are going to do one round on abundance. We've already done two rounds on fear. And then we are going to call it a night. Um, all right. Highbrow point. Wonderful things happen to me because I live with an attitude of gratitude. Wonderful things happen to me because I live with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. <laughs> Side of the eye. Gratitude moves me from perception of lack to manifestations of abundance in all facets of my life. Amen. Gratitude moves me from perception of lack to manifestations of abundance in all facets of my life. Under the eye. Hey, Helen, baby girl, how are you? <laughs> I am worthy of all that my heart desires. Really breathe that one in. I am worthy of all that my heart desires. Nose, under the nose. It is my divine heritage. It is my divine heritage. Chin point. Today I give new life to my goals and dreams. Today I give new life to my goals and dreams. I create my own security. <sighs> Breathe it in. I create my own security. All right. I ask for what I need, knowing that the universe responds. I ask for what I need, knowing that the universe responds. And last one on abundance. I manifest my goals at the perfect time. I manifest my goals at the perfect time. All right. Ooh, I feel energy. <laughs> All right, let's take a deep breath in. And anchor it. And blow it out. Thank you for spending your time with me on our third day, counting down from 199. Today we're on 98 days till the end of the year. What have you done today for your soul, for your mind, for your body, for your business, for you, for someone else? What one little bit can you do today to move you that much further in your success, in your abundance, in your overcoming, in your being able to give back and breathe in gratitude. And don't forget to go and tell those that you love that you're thinking of them because God knows that we never know. And again, I love you, Helen Brahms. Um, her husband Bradley went to um, heaven today at four something this morning. And so um, Peggy and I drove to San Diego to give her a hug. And I gave her a little foot massage and hand massage and neck massage with some aromatherapy that she had. And <sighs> got to enjoy every moment. As Helen would say, every day is sparkly and fantastic. Every day has to be sparkly and fantastic. All right, y'all. Peace out. This is Stephanie with Oasis Palisades. And also your intentional happiness enthusiast.